Okay, so you guys, I'm supposed to be leaving for Paris in less than 24 hours, but would you believe it? A volcano erupted! Are you kidding me? Seriously? A volcano is stopping me from going on my trip. It really sounds like either a movie, a bad dream. I cannot believe this is actually happening. And when I see the maps on like CNN and stuff, where it's just like ash covering all of Europe and all of the Atlantic Ocean, I'm just like, seriously, this can't be happening. At this point, um, like honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't get there at all. But I have my fingers crossed. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But like, what are you gonna do? Force them to fly you there and the plane turns off? No, I don't think so. Keep you guys posted. Yeah. Okay, so at this point, the news is official. A lot of you guys knew that I was gonna be going to Paris and hoping to do some really cool segments over there. But alas, a little volcano and a lot of ash have um, turned into a total pain in my ash. <laughs> Love that one. I've used it like 85 times. So now I'm sitting next to my suitcase, which I just packed, and now I have to unpack. So you know, I decided I'm not someone who stays sad about these things. I'm not going to let it get to me. You know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to put on my beret. I'm going to grab my moustache. I'm going to unpack. I'm going to be totally okay with it. There's a lot worse things in the world. And if I can't go to Paris, I'll just bring Paris to me, right? So here's my suitcase, all nice and packed up, ready to go. And here I am, Jocelyne, as my French name should be, or Jacqueline or something, signing off. And I'm going to have a fabulous, fun French afternoon for my house here in California. Au revoir!